Welcome back to part two of the Northeast Corridor commuter race. We're going to pick up where we left off last time and we're going to have eight car commuter trains from Philadelphia and we're going to head back to Wilmington. As you okay, can see so here, what? here, I've got a Platinum Mist GG1 and I've got eight amp leads in phase one and phase two paint. What are you guys driving? I have a train set which is especially close to my heart. What I have, the New Jersey Transit Commuter Train, cab car, Comet, Comet 4 cab car, 5024 is leading the contest, followed by a mix of Comet 3 and Comet 4 coaches, and backed by an Alp 44, which I forgot to upgrade, stupid me. What about you, Jimmy? Alrighty, I have a uh, eight-car commuter train powered by Amtrak F-59 number 451 in the Surfliner paint scheme. Wrong coast, I know, but screw it. Yeah. I'm running engine first, by the way, not cab car first. That's I'm okay. running cab I'm, car first. I'm running engine. I'm running engine first, but that's because there are no ample cab cars in Phase One and Phase Two paint. But why would I be saying that? Because they didn't exist back then. They had. Well, there were in Phase Three paint. So that's close enough. Honestly, I would be. I'd be surprised. I'd be completely surprised if a GG1 ever ran in push pull service. On the, by the way, Jimmy, the locomotive you're driving is really close to my uh, lives really close around my area. 451? Yep. Mainly because I'm a SoCal resident. I oh, used to see the stuff I'm driving a lot. I rode I once had a big New Jersey transit riding well, streak. Let's, 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 get, let's do the countdown and be going. Okay, in five, off. four. Hey, wait, wait, three. no, 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 stop, freeze. Brakes off. Three, two, one point twenty-five, one, go. And they're off. I'm doing Absolutely As Rico would nobody. say, rough, rough and away. Absolutely nobody could hear the horn on my GG1 because all we could hear was Jimmy. Yeah, because his K5LA horn is blasting through the, through the microphone. K5LA versus A200. Versus other K5LA, <laughs> which sucks. Versus A200 that I got off of Derek Miller's Southern Pacific Daylights. Because that's what I'm using for the horn on the GG1. <laughs> yeah. so there, was no, there was no way I was going to use the default Acela horn. Yeah, good call. Because that sound is is how should I put, uh, how should I say complete crap without offending anyone? Except for everybody. Out no ass <laughs> dookie. Up up up. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to draw that switch. Ah, that was really that was really that was really fast. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not ready for 90 miles an hour just yet, folks. Oh, and, uh, yeah. oh, about that uh, one scene where James took a shot curve uh, going a little fast. Uh, the reason why I didn't, even if I had the derailments turned on, it still wouldn't, it wouldn't matter because the posted speed limit there on the Soto routes are 40 miles an hour. Come on, GG ones, come on. I'll post six. Oh, Jimmy, you're way ahead of me. I got to step up yeah. my game. You're, you're ahead of me too. Step up, step up. Put a little, put a little rainbow dash in the fuel system. <laughs> 80 miles per. If you do 80, even, eight, if you go 8 miles an hour faster, you'll be going back, back to the future. Nostalgia. I'll let you know if I hit 88, and uh, if I kind of disappear, well, uh, whoops. Anyway. Come on. Come on. Let's get a Let's do this. Let's get 100 miles an hour. I'll post 6.5. I just cleared six. I'm doing 88 miles per hour, 89. I'm You're going back to the future, Matt. 
I'm definitely, I'm, I'm definitely going back to the past of an Amtrak QG1, so... Doing what, doing what they say can't be done. He's pounding down, loaded up and trucking. We got it. We got it. What they say can't be done. We got a long way to go, and the short time to get there. He's pounding down. What's your bandy run? I did the. I have kind of did a take on this with uh, Henry and the Flying Chipper. But knowing me, why I'm going to put on daily motion is going to be uh, who, who knows, goodness knows why I'm going to put it up there. You know, I'm going to like it a few days or weeks or possibly I don't know. I'm also impressed with the Flying Kippers in episode. It has a really great atmosphere to it. I, I mean, you can just see it's empty and stuff like the docks and stuff. It's, no. it's, it's, it's almost magical in a sense. Yeah, it's also from what I gather from the Wilson here. It's also the first. So to set entirely at night, and the main thing are and crash are epic, and so on. Eighty-seven miles per hour. Seventy-two. Ninety-five. Clearing mile post eight point five. Nine point five. And of I course, the Flying Kippers, mind. last time we'll get to see Henry in his old shape, or is it? Because from what I checked in the groups in Thomas's Christmas party, we get to see a model of Henry's old shape in, his, in the final scene. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm about to do 100. I'm doing 77. Uh, I'm, I'm doing behind. 100. Oh boy. Hopefully my luck is better than my real fan luck today. I missed... A Nancy Cole drag has two Kansas City 7 units and a brand new SD-78 from BNSF. And later on, I missed a stack jam with a Union Pacific C40-8. And now the Heard sound. Of, and now the saw sound. a tail out of one, heard the other, didn't see any of them. And now the sound on the sound. G1 is going haywire. <laughs> <laughs> the bell like, sound. I just any... had this really weird static thing going on with this, the sounds on my, power crew sounds on my GG1. Oh, I've really? seen that happen. That's the only shortcoming to these engines. They're great, but the, if the sounds were alias to the default electrics. What? What? And, uh, and of what, course, the sound. Oh, go on, Jimmy. What? Uh, what? 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 What locomotive pack are you using? I'm using the uh, Zosa Trains 1970s Penn Central Amtrak set. Oh, all right, that one. Okay. And of course, yeah, let me just. And of course, mine's platinum mist because. There, there's no way I was going to have a black GG1 pulling amp leads. It uh, would be pretty well, difficult, but it would look wrong. That wasn't an gonna... uncommon sight, actually. You know I, about I, I, Jack I... MP294.5, right? Huh? Jack MP294.5. Oh, right, right. Yeah, he has a, a great selection of, like... He, he was a rail fan back in the 70s and stuff, so he shot a lot of FL9s, shot a lot of GG1s, shot a lot of great old power... Those are the days, man, I tell you. 86.4 miles an hour, about to clear mile post 13.0. And let me just stay on record that... 100 miles per hour, mile post 14.5. Let me just stay on record. Mile post 15. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, you're going to be overtaken very quickly. Oh, jeez, I'm going to lose both races. I thought my luck couldn't be any worse today. Well... Out of three, there's bound to, there's like the likelihood of someone not winning anything. Is, there's yeah. the likelihood of me derailing. So I'm doing 100 miles per hour. I'm doing 10 miles over the speed limit. Do it, limit. do it, do it, do it. Oh, and apparently the day out Thomas included has introduced Percy. Oh, oh yeah, no. it's I went and built a glorified boxcar Percy. That's what they call the unpowered replicas, by the way, glorified boxcars. I like the older versions of their faces. I like the previous face on Thomas a lot better, because at least it's not creepy. Imagine the new one having a rubber mouth and actually talking to you. I mean, if it wasn't creepy enough, as is. I know, right? Uh, that's why I'm more satisfied with the hour. Thomas I got. That's why I'm more satisfied with the Thomas I got for TRS. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so where are we all at? Mile post 16. 17. I'm just behind you. 
I have mine. And, and, uh, and, uh, if they made Percy sooner, then, then he would, uh, then Face wouldn't look as crappy as he uh, it is right now. Yeah, you, you have a point there. So what's next? We're gonna build James next. Uh, don't give them ideas, Matt. Too late. <laughs> Well, the Percy being first, on the first, they the have two credit gates. It's 18 anyways, so okay, I don't know. First, okay, first, the Toon Critic get, accidentally gave away an idea for a Rio TV series. Now this. All right, then. Why don't we give them ideas to uh, have a GG1 restored in black with the uh, yellow stripe. Amtrak mm. black with the yellow stripe. Oh, what? Uh, that's all right. Okay, don't get me started. There's a GG1 in New York that's restored in Platinum Mist, Amtrak Platinum Mist, so why wouldn't it be wrong for one to be restored in Amtrak Black with the Yellow Stripe? Did that one exist? Nostalgia reasons? Did that exist? <clears throat> Restricting signal. Let's see what this is about. Oh, yeah. Now I know. Got the approach. Milepost and, uh, 19, and I get the feeling I'm going to be switching over soon. Oh, and I get the feeling First I'm going to overtake you, because I just cleared milepost 19. Um... It's not showing any mileposts beyond 21. I'm getting kind of concerned. No, there's 22.5 afterward. Just cleared 19.5. How's everybody else doing? Uh, don't talk to me now. I'm about I'm bracing for sharp curves. I'm coming up to that bit, but I'm still quite a ways out. Okay, never mind. All right, I think I can ride. I think I can ride it through. Oh! Oh no! 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 no. What have you done? The curves! The curves are coming up. I am in last, aren't I? I don't care. I mean, I'm, I'm just well, I'm breaking for my right, life. Dustin. Twenty-one. I am in blast. Did I break too soon again? Yeah, I break too soon too, and I just crawled to a dead stop. Didn't that Where? happen in the last race too? Yeah. Well, almost. These both breaks. Take it up steady. Come on, budge. Uh... Jimmy's gonna overtake us both at this point. I'm going to overtake you at this point. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think I'm on the uh, overpass, so I think if I just go over this at 70, I should be fine. It's my famous last words. <laughs> I'm breaking. I'm going to try to bring it down to 65 because I'm scared. I I'm so scared. I'm going to keep it to, like, 20. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Raise yourselves. Okay, I'm oh, fine. Don't Never mind. Oh, good. Meanwhile, I'm I'm scared. I'm really damn scared right now. Ah! Ah! Oh, jeez, there's a downgrade here. Some rainbow dash in that transformer. And I'm off. Oh dear. Oh no, Jimmy lost. That means he's out. Yeah, what happened was I didn't realize I'd been switched onto one of those double tracks that just dead ends. Whoops. It happens. Oh okay, well. Okay, coming up to milepost twenty-two point five, and I'm. I'm still clearing the curve section. I'm so going to get to this like a pussy. Oh come on, break, 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 break! No, 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 no. Anchors, no. sandbags, base, everything. <laughs> oh Break crap, I went to please. emergency. Okay, I'm gonna good, good, good. I stopped again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna yeah, uh, and there's a nice little position on the on the brake handle, it's called release. Try using that. <laughs> I tried release, I actually hit emergency. It was an accident, man. I hit emergency too when I saw the dead end. That didn't help me much. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Dad, Dustin, you're, 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 um, done. I'm, water. I'm, I'm pretty much gonna win now. Okay, here I go, here I go, here I go. Unless, unless of course I don't drop the anchors at milepost 
25. And I derail. Because if I don't keep this low. I'm going to derail coming into the Wilmington. And I just realized my locomotive brakes were pretty much worthless. Yeah, those GG ones and the simulator ones, anyways. The yeah, I mean, you might as well you might as well use cheese brake blocks. It worked better. I might as well use the NELW GG one. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Let's oh, take it steady. Oh, take it steady. Oh, oh, great, great for races, but that's about it. Which I actually do have the NELW GG one in my uh, electric locomotives documents folder for, for absolutely no reason because I've got the, those the train GG ones. Incidentally, I, when I downloaded the uh, NELW GG1s, I was thrilled to see that it was offered in every paint scheme that a GG1 was ever painted in, except one. What do you think that paint scheme was that it was represented in? Platinum Mist? Ash Bingo. Oh. Every other paint scheme was represented, even the rare 4800 uh, Conrail Blue paint. Because 4800 was the only GG1 to wear Conrail Blue. Cool. Alright. But I'm telling you, I mean, Platinum, this is underrated. I'm coming up to milepost 26. Oh god. I'm not gonna make it. <clears throat> Come on. And get going. So the other day I had this really great experience with these Burlington Northern SD60. Oh my god! Oh, oh! Up, up, nope, I'm gonna crash into some buffers! Up, 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 nope, I'm gonna crash into some buffers! Nope. Oh, oh, no. Did you, you just do the same thing that Jimmy just nope, did? Nope. I'm off. Well, I won. So that means Matt wins by default. All to do is I just have to arrive in Wilmington. Yep. Go to Dang, I'm gonna learn these default routes a bit better, don't I? Yeah, I've I driven Strasbourg Route one all. back in the back in the Vista computer, and it's real. It's really nice run. So, what race should we do next? Should we do the? Uh, well, we're not going to do the, another race right now. But I mean, what race should we do next in the future? Like, Railroad Roulette, bar none. Huh? Railroad Roulette. Here's the thought: Everyone get the Pennsylvania Railroad Eastern Region, and we'll all race the Broadway Limited from New York to Pittsburgh. The way we drive, it should only take about seven and a half hours. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that won't work. I did suggest earlier that we all get on UK Trainsim and download Glasgow to Carlisle and drive. LMS I'm not going to download crap from UK Trainsim. Uh, let's see. Well, how many how many parts is that route? I have but, no clue. I think it's one. I, I think it's a one part route, but I don't know. Because I know I, I downloaded the skipped into Carlisle route, and that thing was like ten parts. It took me a better part of a week to download it. All right, now yeah, okay, I tried here's downloading. A, okay, here's an idea. Here's an idea of a race. All of us got the Norfolk Southern East River district because I currently have it and I love it. And we all drive uh, forty car coal trains from Walton Junction to Princeton with second and third generation road switchers. How's Make that sound? those coal activists piss themselves. You, you guys would really love to climb from uh, Glen Eden to Princeton. That would That's going to be so much fun if you don't have the right power. <sighs> I guess I'm out then. Hey, did we have fun? Did we have fun? Yes? No? I'd say so, until we all crashed. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's great fun. Good way for me to pass the time. Even though you weren't participating yourself. Sadly. 
I'll listen to a bunch of you know rookie engineers who don't know what they're doing. You know, try to get try to race around. Where's... What's entertaining is watching a board switch hostler who's moving a Santa Fe GP40X around throw rocks at a switch stand. That's <sighs> dangerous. Railroaders. Yep. Railroaders. That's, 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 that's the uh, that's the end of the NEC race. So Jimmy won the first race, right? Yeah. And I won the second race by default because everybody else derailed. Which means I lost both, which means I'm the biggest loser. Oh, yeah, got, we all got, have our off this day. You've had two races lead over me. Oh wait, so I guess that means we're tied. Alright, yeah. so... We'll see you next time. And maybe Jimmy will join us for some more races in the future. Oh, all aboard!